I am here to review the Polar FT7 heart rate monitor. Um, I just got done using it. I just got back from a run and I wanted to tell you all about it. I've used it um, about three times officially now. Alright, first of all, it comes in a box just like this. Polar listens to your body. I got the lilac in blue. It looks black, but the, the band is actually like a, a navy blue. And in the box, you of course get the um, watch and it comes separated. It comes with a uh, band to go over around your chest and then this part right here. And what you wanna do is you are going to snap this into here just like so and you're gonna put this around your chest and keep this like by your heart so kind of like on the left side and then this of course goes on your wrist one of the first things that I noticed about the watch itself is that there are holes all down the all down the side so it's very 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 adjustable but I also noticed that the holes are on this side too, so I guess like as far as aesthetics, it kind of matches, which is good. And then it also is kind of like air vents, which I also think is good. Um, something I did notice, and at first I was like, that's kind of weird, is that this right here, it doesn't bend, like not right there or on this side. So it doesn't really bend, but you know, it fits on my wrist just fine. And I kind of thought about it, and if it did bend right there, like most, you know, jewelry watches do, it might like roll over and slide over like that, and then it would be really annoying. Um, so the fact that that doesn't bend, it actually keeps it in place, and I think that that's a good thing. The strap is soft and kind of squishy, and a lot of heart rate monitors, I noticed that there are straps, they look like plastic or rubber. And I feel like that would be really, really uncomfortable, but this is not at all. This is actually very comfortable. One thing that I did notice was this little tag on here. And I actually was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe I'll just cut that off. Don't cut that off. Well, first, let me show you how you, you uh, kind of hook, you hook the little thing in there like this. And when I first wore it, I actually had it tucked that way. And then this little thing, it bugged me. And then that's when I realized, oh, this is to lay over it so that that doesn't bug you because this is really soft actually and has a little, a little bit of cushion in it. That was a very quick lesson that I learned and I'm so glad I didn't cut that off. One thing that I found in my research was that a lot of people were complaining that this did not work. Um, and people were saying that you had to wet, I think this side of it, and a lot of people were saying to lick it. I don't know if I would want to lick it, but um, I've made sure to make sure to wet it before I put it on. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. Not really sure why or what that does, but it says to do that. So I make sure to do that. So that's everything that comes in the box. When you first turn it on, I'm not really sure how to turn it on. I just kind of pushed some buttons and then all of a sudden it came on. Um, and then the setup was self-explanatory. You just kind of enter in all your information. You have to enter in the date and the time, of course. Um, and then you enter in like your, a your age, your height, I think, your, um, your birthday and um, your weight and you enter in all that information. So once that's all set up, then you're pretty much ready to go. Now to get to the menu, you're just gonna press up or down and there's settings, there's data, and that's it. <laughs> um, so here's the data and you have your training files. If you wanna go, you push the middle button. Um, and so there's my training files. This is what I did today. I went out at 340. Um, let's see, there's the other one um, last night at 824. It was just a walk on the treadmill. See, so this one was from last night. Um, it says 47 minutes, 27 seconds, and I burned 237 calories. And my average heart rate was 107, and my maximum heart rate was 119. And I just went for a walk on the treadmill. The back button is always right here. So I just keep going back until you get to the watch. I also got the Polar Flow Link, and you plug this into the computer, and then you literally just set this 
on top of it like that. And I can actually feel, it's almost like magnetic, it feels like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then it uploads it to the website. Now you do have to sign, you do have to like register um, on, I think it's um, polarfitness.com or it's some polartraining.com or something like that. Um, when you get this, it tells you what, web, what the website is. And you do have to register, and then once that happens, then you can like upload your information to that. All right, let's go for a little walk um, on the treadmill and see what happens. Okay, so now that I have the strap on, here's kind of how it works. Um, you push this middle button right here, and you push it once, and then you wait, and it will tell you your current heart rate and it is 84. I'm just sitting here, so it's not, it's not too high right now. As soon as you are ready to start your um, actual activity, you push this button again, and it will say started. And then it actually tells you, let's see, I wanna get my heart rate between 123 and 170, and there right, Right now it says that I am in the fat burning zone. And then once you get your heart rate up, then it will be up here and it will say fitness right there. Then when you are ready to stop, or if you just wanna pause it, you're gonna push this button back here and it's paused. And then you can either continue by pushing this button again or push this button back again and it will end that training session. Something I found really cool is that it's automatically synced up right here with the treadmill that my parents have. I didn't have to do anything. I literally took it out of the box, turned it on, set up the watch, and then came on the treadmill to see what would happen and like my heart rate showed up there. Normally you have to grab these and hold on to them for a while and it's annoying and it makes you lose your stride but it it just automatically did it and I was I was really amazed at that that shocked me okay now we're on the treadmill it already has my heart rate going all right and I'm gonna go ahead and start this now okay, as you can see my heart rate is still on there and I don't have my hands on there at all that's nice and convenient okay now that I have this going um, you can see it says that I'm in the fat burning zone. I'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, so far I've been going two minutes and 28 seconds. It is 5.42 p.m. and I'm just pushing up or you could also push down. Um, so far I've burned 17 calories, 18 calories. Um, there's my heart rate, 104, 103. It's coming down because I was just walking on the treadmill. I think that's everything to show you. Um, when you are ready to stop, I think I've already showed this, but you push this button and now it's paused. You can either push this one and continue or you can push it again and it'll stop that and then there are your stats. And of course you can scroll through your scat stats. There's my average heart rate is 119, my maximum was 132. And I was in the fat burning zone for three minutes and 12 seconds and not at all in the fitness zone. Um, and then it just cycles back through. This button right here, if you hold it down, it will lock or unlock the buttons. So I pushed it down and then if I want to lock the buttons, I'm gonna push this one right here. The buttons are now locked, so I can't do anything until I hold this one down. Now the buttons are unlocked. As far as anything else that I have to say about it, first of all, the buttons seem like they're kind of hard to push. Um, they kind of like indent my fingers a little bit if I push too much on there. But I don't see that as a really bad thing because if they were really easy to push and just like bending your wrist back a little bit or something, you might accidentally push buttons. Although it does have the lock button feature too, so if that were a problem, then it would lock the buttons. But I don't really see it as a bad thing and it's not like you're pushing a lot of buttons. Um, the only time that happens is when you first set it up. I would also say that that it kind of seems more like it's only for right-handed people because of the, the side that the buttons are on and I don't think they make a left-handed one. If you are left-handed, that is something to consider. The only other thing that I want to talk about is the fitness and the fat burning zones. Um, I don't really understand them because fitness 
Like, I would think that if you are working hard and you're at a more intense level and a fitness level, you would also be burning calories, burning fat as well. So I don't really understand what the difference is. Plus, I was also really concerned with the fat burning zone. When I took my resting heart rate the other day, and it was first thing in the morning and I had the only movement that I had even done was put that on and then I rested and then I turned it on and I let it go for about six minutes to get my average heart rate and it said that I was in the fat burning zone and I was doing nothing. <laughs> um, my heart rate, my average heart rate was about 66 and I was in the fat burning zone so don't, I don't really understand that so maybe if you have some more insight into that you can comment below let me know I would love to, to have more information on that but as far as I'm concerned I would like to be in the fitness zone so uh, with that being said I think that's all I have to say um, I've only used it a few times so I can't say like oh it's the greatest thing ever but I do trust it more than any of my other fitness devices when it comes to calories burned because it knows what my heart is doing and the other devices they don't know that um, so I am glad that I have it and I hope that I can keep using it so that's all I really have to say about it and um, I mean I'm really glad I have it um, the only other negative would be that it didn't come in pink come on polar get with it <laughs> <laughs> Your last one, the FT4, had a pink version. You should have a pink version in the 7. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it gives you some information, insight into a heart rate monitor if you're interested in it. And let me know if you have one in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this review. So, bye!